Hello, I'm Zoe Cunningham, and this is Tech Talk Fest, where we explore ideas that are not just out of the box, but have ignored the very existence of the box. Coming up in today's show, former Tomorrow's World presenter Maggie Philbin talks about using her initiative to get the youth interested in science and technology. We have a look at a device that can revolutionise the way market stalls take payments by transforming your smartphone into a card machine. And if you think technology is detrimental to the environment, then think again. In our website review, we discover how Tiger Nation is taking conservation into the digital age. I'm here at the Science Museum to talk with Maggie Philbin, who is a seasoned BBC science and technology broadcaster. Despite communicating science to the masses, Maggie found she wasn't communicating with the key age group of 13 to 14 year olds who were choosing their GCSEs. So Maggie, when did you realise there was a problem in this area? Well, it was when I went into a school in Wokingham in 2007 and I asked young people if they could name a contemporary scientist, technologist or engineer and the only name they came up with was Einstein. They weren't proud of that lack of knowledge. So it was very, it was very obvious to me that somehow we needed to put lots of really cool scientists and engineers in front of them so they had a sense of what they did on a day-to-day -day basis and also that they could be part of creating technology not just consuming it. So you set up Teen Tech, could you explain what Teen Tech is? Well, uh, Teen Tech is a community interest company and we run large-scale events all over the UK with, with the aim of helping teenagers see real opportunities in science and technology. All sorts of companies, large and small, from global to startup, come along with their very latest technology. And it's a really immersive event. So teenagers may arrive thinking, you know, what's this going to be about? But they leave absolutely buzzing. And we, we measure the impact of the day. So we know that the girls especially really benefit and that 80% of them leave thinking, well, maybe there could be something here for me. Is it hard to get industry and business working directly with children in this way. The companies who first came and worked with us in 2008 are still working with us, which is absolutely brilliant. And then, I, if I'm absolutely honest, I would say it varies, that some organisations absolutely get it, and they also understand that to make a difference, they have to do something. It's not enough to think, oh, well, we'll leave it to, or someone else will. I mean, that's why I decided I had to do something, as opposed to talk about it, which is what I've done for years. We're always looking for more people, and not necessarily, big organisations because small companies who might, may only be able to come along to a couple of events make a real difference because that's about showing young people you don't have to work for a massive company to have a really good career in science and technology. What are some of the coolest things that you've been able to exhibit at Teen Tech? What is fabulous is that organisations do bring their very latest kit. So there's always a lot of ooing and ahhing over the, the stuff that, they, that they, can, they can handle. For instance, this year in um, Hampshire and Berkshire and, and Surrey, we, we had a company come along and they make artificial limbs. And so they brought an athlete along and the, the students fitted his leg. And so that was a really interesting experience because many young people think about medicine as a career, but to see how engineering plays a real part in, in changing people's lives uh, was, was a, a, an absolute eye-opener. We've got some shots now that are going to show you just how wow Team Tech is. Maggie, if someone's watching at home and they want to get their child interested in science and technology, what should they be doing? 
I think the first thing they have to do is to drop their own preconceptions because everybody has rather fixed ideas depending on your own experience and I count myself in this. My, my own daughter says that I didn't give her a very good sort of vision of what it might be to be, a, be an engineer for instance. Except that what you know is going to be out of date, even if you work in, in science and technology, and then help your son or daughter to research it. I think once you start to realise how huge the opportunities are, you realise how important it is that they've, they've got the right subjects and the right skills behind them. So let's hope that the existence of organisations like Teen Tech mean that the young people of today will perhaps be making shows like this one in five years' time. So uh, this is the first time I use this thing, yeah? So. We all know that in the future, payments will be electronic and supported by your mobile phone. Paywave, ping it, ping ping, pass pay, everyone's talking about contactless payment. Yet currently this is supported by only 7% of cards. If you're not one of the lucky ones who's already got a card, then not only can you not wave and go, but because of demand you can't even request a card from your bank. Now imagine that you're a small business owner who runs a market stall. A traditional card system is completely out of your budget, but yet the punters aren't carrying cash anymore. Swedish company iZettle have come up with the solution. You might not believe it, but this tiny piece of plastic plugged into your iPhone or Samsung can completely replace a traditional card system. Once you've got an account with iZettle, you can simply log in on your phone and then configure the payments that you want to take. So if I'm selling hand embroidered t-shirts, I can simply enter 20 pounds, description hand embroidered t-shirt. Then just plug your card in and away you go. If you're a regular trader, you can also log into the iZettle website where you can configure regular products and also to keep track of all that money coming in. We went to a special silicon drink about event where all of the vendors were using iZettle to find out what you think. I think iZettle have very quickly demonstrated by this evening that you can turn a phone into a cash receiving um, article in a day. So I, I, I turned up here um, and um, basically run out of cash after um, going out with the guy to work. He's very hungry with that. Yeah, I that sort of at this time. I think Isetal is a great idea. I mean, I'm surprised that no one before Isetal came up with this idea because um, it's yeah, really simple, it works really simply, but um, we haven't had that many people who want to pay by cards. To be honest, I don't think we'll make more money. We'll probably gain an extra customer or two if we have the advantage of other traders of taking the cards. Tiger Nation is a people-powered conservation website set up to help track and preserve tigers. Because the site keeps track of individual tigers and you can see where they are at any point in time through people checking them in, it's become known affectionately as Facebook for Tigers. So I came to meet Julian Matthews, founder and CEO, to find out more about how Tiger Nation are preserving these beautiful animals. How exactly does Tiger Nation work? It's a crowdsourcing website really and, and basically the idea is that we are daily tracking, following wild tigers, particularly certain ones that we know very well are seen very often. That's the front end. The back end is we're using all the photographs coming in from people in the, in the field, from visitors, to uh, keep an eye on those tigers. 
question, ask the authorities what's happening, where they're going, and people can now have real accountability about what's happening in individual parks in India. Tiger Nation might seem like more of a community project, but in fact you set yourselves apart through your use of technology. Can you explain a bit about some of the groundbreaking concepts that you use? The basic technology is what we're calling ID software, we call it Stripe Sense. Now, what it does is it can look at a picture of a tiger, any picture, a visitor's picture, and a guide's or naturalist picture, and it can identify the tiger through its Stripe pattern. Now, what we've done is we've not only allow that for people to use and to then go, wow, I'm going to follow that tiger and I'm going to look after it and I'm going to keep an eye on it for its whole life, of course, which we aim to do. But we're also going to use the metadata from that photograph, the date, the time, the GPS, to allow monitoring activity to happen through that system. So technology is coming together with um, photographic technology to be really powerful as a, as a sort of monitoring. What kind of impact do you hope to have on tiger numbers? I hope we can make a hell of a difference. There are 1,700 tigers left in India. This is not, uh, you know, we're not talking thousands and thousands. If we can find, you know, even 60, 70% of those through the kind of crowdsourcing that we hope to do and working with governments and things, we can keep a real eye on those through other people being able to keep an eye on them as well. And that's the power. This is citizen science. This is really exciting ability to feel you helping. Where do you hope Tiger Nation will be in 10 years time? I would love Tiger Nation to be a really important tool in India's sort of conservation arsenal. It'll be somewhere which millions of people can refer to, millions of people can be directed to, to, to find out about what's happening, to really be informed of what's happening. Millions of kids have been blown away by the storytelling, have been able to put tigers all over their, their rooms um, and have learnt a lot about what's happening and about what's happening to our planet. And the result is, is a sort of massive nature education program. So that would be my, my favourite. It's been scientifically proven that watching videos of cute animals not only makes you happier, but can also make you live longer. So let's sit back, relax and rejuvenate while watching some of Tiger Nation's exclusive footage. That's it from us. The future's here. And if you want to make sure that you, just like your computer, have the very latest technology updates, keep watching Tech Talk First. If you'd like to know more about the show, please visit our website, www.techtalkfest.com. I'm Zoe Cunningham. Thanks for watching.